Is that one of your babies? That is. Oh, oh. that's our, our pug. <laughs> Isn't she sweet? Her name's Twirls. Hi, Twirls. And, and this who's is that? This is our little boy, Boots, who's actually Grace, our daughter's new pup. Hi, Boots. Isn't he a sweetheart? Hi, Boots. <laughs> my first dog was Boo, and my my girl right now is Isabu, so I'm a big fan of, of dogs with boots. <laughs> yes. Got okay, how boots. do we make these? We're, oh, what yeah. are we making, peanut butter pumpkin? Yeah, peanut butter pumpkin treats, and they're really fun and easy to make, and they're actually vegan, and they're also really cost-effective because there's just three ingredients. Basically, you can take a cup of oats, and they can be instant or old fashioned. It doesn't matter, whatever you may have around the house. And you just put a cup of Dump oats them in, in there. And then we want to take a quarter cup of pure pumpkin. Pumpkin, not want... pumpkin pie filling, not sweetened, just puree, right? Exactly. And then we've got natural peanut butter. Also, you want to get the natural stuff because just it ground up peanuts. Doesn't right. have the you know any added all the added like sugar, sugar and salt, and syrup, and all right, that. Right for your doggy. Yeah. Should I zap this? Yeah, sure. You want to zap it quite fine, finely ground. <laughs> if I can figure out how to put the lid oh on. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're doing great. And congratulations again on your book. Oh, I'm well, enjoying you, reading love. it so much. Thank you. Don't we love it? So then you roll it. Do you have to chill it first or you're good? No, no. You don't even you don't have, have to, to chill, chill it. it at all. So it rolls into a dough about yay big. And you, I usually squash it with my hand and then I roll it out. And you can also, if you don't have any flour around the house, you can take more of the finely crushed oats and scatter that around. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Sure. And then you just roll it out, and then you just can take some really fun little cookie cutters. Or if you don't have cookie cutters, you can cut little mini just squares. Just cut squares or, fine. Right, or diamonds Dogs, or anything. I don't think, are picky about it. They just enjoy having the nice, lovely treat. <laughs> and then you just cut out a few, you know, little nice pieces and lay it on some parchment paper. I also used a silk pad, pad, and that worked okay. Or oh, foil. Oh, the silk pad's great, right? Yeah. You, you don't even have to wash those things. You just kind of oh, I love them. Shake don't them you? off, and they're fine and ready yeah, to go again. Yeah, they're fabulous. So you just cut a few out, and I even you can. There's so many darn cute little cookie cutters now. They're holding up a sign: back counter, oh. back counter. Well, and it's, poof, they're and just poof, like they're done. Are <laughs> 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 these cute? Yum. Yeah, and humans can eat them too. I mean, it might mm -hmm. be good if we dip it in peanut butter needs, or ice cream or whipped cream. It needs salt. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you guys, I think you're going to fall in love with this bestseller, too, and you get to do it for free because she's not only gorgeous, but she's generous. Everybody gets a copy of Velvet Post. <laughs>